Hi guys, it's Joe at PC Repairs 101 and today I've got an Acer Aspire VX15, a gaming laptop. So what I'll be doing today is removing the RAM for this. Um, I've actually got another um, Acer, it's an Acer Predator um, from what I'm aware of, uh, that I need the RAM from this one to put into that one. So I'll be removing the RAM from this one um, as the RAM on the other one has failed. To start off with, I've just got my tools. I'll be posting a link in the description below. Um, I've got these precision screwdrivers. Post a link in the description below on where to buy them. And I've got a little splicer, spleege sort of tool. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I've got one of them just to crack the case open. So yeah, let's begin. I've got a little microfiber cloth here that I'll just put down. Just want to flip it over just so I don't damage the lid, scratch the lid at all. Let's begin. So we'll start off with just unscrewing the screws on the base. Make sure you put the screws somewhere safe and in the right order if they are different sizes. You do not want to be putting a larger screw into a smaller hole and ruining the thread on the screw hole or alternatively putting a longer screw through the palm rest and getting a little nipple or even worse actually piercing the actual shell. So these are all the same size screws, so I don't necessarily need to keep them really in order. So a little bit about this system, or this laptop, it's a really, really nice laptop. I am actually going to be selling this one, unfortunately. I was thinking about keeping it myself. It's, it's only an i5 but it's got a 1050 in it and it's a 7th gen i5 it is ridiculously fast lovely machine to use I stressed it out the other day just to check the temperatures I think it was running no more than 60 on both the CPU and the GPU on max load which is also pretty impressive for how sleek it is very sleek laptop so I'll just pop them off let's have a little look we can just see around here that's where the lid comes off I'm just going to check the keyboard just to make sure sometimes you've got little clips on the keyboards here where you pop the keyboard off and then you unscrew the screws on the actual palm rest and then lift it off but on this one it looks like it's all one assembly so get my little splicer tool you can get these online they usually come with free kits with like uh, iPhone repairs etc but just you so just pop the little splicer tool in between the palm rest and the base. I'll get a close up view. You can see, just about to see, I'm putting it through here. So I'm just going to follow that all the way around the actual laptop itself. Very careful as to not damage it. Follow that around. Use your wits. You know, if something's not going, don't force it. But also, don't be scared. You now, if you get scared on most things, that's when the accidents happen. So, that looks like that's pretty much off. So, let's follow this around. You get an idea to where it's kind of lifting and then you can just very carefully pop your tool in. I'll go around this way actually. Do this way first just to get a bit of leverage. Try and make it see for the camera. 
And there we go, so that's pretty much all come off now. Very straightforward. Like I said, don't be scared, but also don't. like force anything so just going to show you guys that's where it splits there the actual laptop so that's off now so I'll pop that off you can see the base is now removed cool so now that's removed the first thing I want to do is I want to unplug the battery as to not damage the board short circuit anything and I want to also deplete the electro electronic charge in it. So just hold the power button down for about 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That will just remove any leftover electronical charge as to not short circuit. Really nice dual fan here. Oh, so. That's the M.2, M.2 uh, hard drive, I think that's, yeah, it's an M.2, it's 128 anyway. This is where the RAM is, so if you can see, that's what we're removing, just that one stick of RAM. So quite simple, I'll zoom in. I'm sure if you've got this gaming laptop, you already probably know the basics of a RAM. But you've got two little clips either end here. Just push them out and it pops up and just simply put it out. So in this, I've got one DDR stick of 8 gig, which should be enough. Um, on the other laptop, I doubt that both the sticks, I think it's got 16 gig in, but I doubt both have failed. Um, so, there you go. That's how you remove the RAM. What I'll do is I'll just make another quick video on assembling it back together, just in case you run into any difficulties. Um, just use this uh, tutorial as a guide um, if you want to pop it back together. Hi guys, so if you like this video, uh, make sure you give it a like. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down if you really want to, but just explain in the comments why you didn't like it, why I can improve, etc. But should be okay, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, remember to subscribe, I do all sorts, strip downs, unboxings, reviews. Um, I'll be do re doing a review on this Acer Aspire VX15, very nice laptop. Just do maybe a few benchmarks, just have a all-round test, check your temperatures, show you the temperatures, show you maybe how long the battery lasts, just get a feel for you know, the everyday uses, where well, there's the gaming side of things. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll post a link below um, on where to purchase one of these gaming laptops, oh, as well as um, posting a link on where to get my tools. I've been using these tools now for God, two years and I haven't had to replace these screwdriver set after going through about five or six sets previously. Um, I eventually found these ones, which are a really good set. Still got the magnetic, um, aspects to them they still haven't worn off and they have not worn down after two years of using them pretty much every single day throughout the day so yeah thanks